Beauty standards change over time, and we see that impact every day. An entire generation's sense of self-confidence can be impacted by the choices we make in casting. Now, we're in a really exciting time for the modeling industry, because with the rise of brand diversity, it brings a golden age for diverse representation. In the past, to become a model, one had to fit within certain physical parameters, but today, less and less agencies are asking you to change who you are to fit within a certain box. It seems like the most valuable asset in modeling today is a unique personality and the will to be different. Now, Wilma is a great representation of this evolution. Wilma is a model at Mikas, which is one of the most respected model agencies in Scandinavia. She and I worked on a fashion film together and the energy she brought on set was contagiously positive. Now, one could say that her aesthetic is standard adjacent, but I think she symbolizes the future of modeling. Her sense of self and positivity will one day pave the road for the faces of tomorrow. And that was kind of the thing that made me go into modeling because mm -hmm. I've always been like really uncomfortable and like, I don't want to be in pictures. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. What? Always. I'm like, no, no, no. I hate it. <laughs> what? Yeah. I, <laughs> no I one believes that. that. No, 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 no one believes that. Because everyone thinks that I like, I don't know. They, I guess it looks like I'm comfortable, but I'm yeah. really not. I'm just like, oh. I just want to. Are you getting? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, <laughs> are you getting better at it or is it just? Yeah. I mean, the, the modeling now is like, I mean, the more experience I get, the more comfortable I get, mm. but it's still a challenge, you know, I'm, yeah. I still get a bit awkward and sometimes yeah. on set, I'm just like, I don't know what to do. I get you. <laughs> Dude, something that happens to me all the time is imposter syndrome where yeah. I get a gig and then while I'm on set, I'm like, I don't deserve to be here. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm like, no. Someone else could do a way yeah, better yeah, job. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm useless. No. <laughs> Dude, but why is that? Like, yeah, it happens to even like at creatives that I admire super mm. high up. They say the same thing happens to them. Yeah. I hate that that's a thing. Yeah, 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 I know. I Also, I have many creative friends that say yeah. the same thing, and I'm like... The way I get by it is just, I have to remind myself, like, you're here for a reason. Exactly, like, exactly. They yeah. wouldn't they wouldn't want you to be here exactly. if you d weren't good enough. You yeah, know? yeah. I think it's so easy for me to apologize for myself yeah, 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 when I, I don't know. have to. Yeah, I'm the same. I don't yeah. get why is it like that. Like, it's, when I'm pitching for a job, it's always like, but if you want to look for someone else, like that's cool too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I totally understand if yeah. you don't want me. It's, exactly. it's fine. I, I, don't I, want I won't me. be sad. Yeah. I promise. <laughs> yeah. Man. Again, I think that's experience. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. How old were you again? 23. Okay, yeah, 24. We're in the exact same spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Um, how did you start modeling? Tell me about your, like, how you were scouted. That yeah. Whole story. Um, I actually, first time I was scouted, I was 19, I think, in mm -hmm. Manchester. Um, oh, what were I, you doing there? I was watching a football game with my dad and his uh, oh. and my uncle and their sons. So it was like a guy's trip with me. Uh, <laughs> it was it. super fun. Uh, but I was just walking down the street, doing some shopping, mm -hmm. and this uh, lady came up to me. I think she was from Elite Models. Yeah, okay. Um, and she asked me, like, what was I doing here? How, how old am I? Mm -hmm. And how long am I in Manchester for? And I took her card and everything, but I was like... I've because you know I've never been comfortable in front of a camera and everything so I was like nah yeah. modeling no 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 that's not for me you know and then I never really gave much thought to it mm -hmm. until last summer I was again doing some shopping here in Stockholm uh, I walked into weekday uh, oh, the weekday the store, store yeah, yeah exactly um, and almost immediately this uh, girl uh, comes up to me uh, and she's like wow has anyone ever told you you have a beautiful facial structure and i was like whoa me nice, wow yeah. thank you thank you you know uh, and i was like no yeah. <laughs> and then she gave her the mika's card she told me like i'm from mika's agency we would love to work with you wow uh and i was like yeah thank you was thank that you. emma or was that a scout or uh that was i had like two different the one mm -hmm. who scouted me was i think her name was Stina. okay i'm not really sure and then the girl that i have most contact with is emma okay yeah um but um then i was like uh, i was supposed to send in some basic pictures mm -hmm. for them 
um, and then we would follow up. Uh, but again, I was like, I was like, no, I shouldn't do it. And no, I, no. I tried my mom. I got, got my mom to take some pictures of me. I was like, yeah. no, this, this is horrible. I can't <laughs> no, send these. It's, uh. And then it took like four months or something until I finally sent in the pictures. Wait, four months? Yeah, yeah. Dude, that's a long time. <laughs> and, and they were like, hi. They, they've been writing to me a lot. Like, hi, how is it going with the pictures? And I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm going to send them soon. Yeah. And then like four months after, I'm like, here <laughs> they are. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, but then we just had a meeting and uh, then it was done, basically. That's so cool. Yeah. I mean, Mikas is one of the most respected agencies yeah. in Stockholm. Like, that's such a blessing. Yeah, it was nice because, you know, ever since you grew up as a girl, you've been told stories about, you know, fake modeling agencies. Oh, okay. They're like yeah. using girls. So when I got from Mikas, I was like, okay, this is, this is uh, an agency that is like you said, respected and mm -hmm. known and yeah, yeah, yeah. just like serious. Absolutely. So, uh, yeah, that feels... Do they guide you in any way? Like, do they um, kind of teach you some tips or... Yeah, I mean, I had... Um, the first time I was there and we had a little shooting, did mm -hmm. some Polaroids and I got some tips and just, they are very nice, mm -hmm. but I feel like they also have extremely many models, you know, to take care of. Yeah. And it's hard for them to have time for everyone. Yeah, I think about that a lot. Like yeah. as a model, how does that make you feel that there's just so many? Like I wonder yeah. if models would feel more comfortable if agencies would kind of like yeah. keep the number small. Yeah. What do you feel? Yeah, I feel like, <laughs> well. No wrong answers. No. Yeah. I'm just like, um, Okay, let me think a minute. Yeah, because I mean, <laughs> I kind of understand why they would need a lot. Like, it starts to become like a volume game. Yeah, um, but it's also like, I feel like they just, sometimes they just take in a lot of models and they don't mm. really have time to, you know, nurture them or what am I supposed to say? I you like know? that word Yeah, a lot. yeah, because I mean, when you take in someone new like me yeah. with no experience and then you just get like a job offer and then you're supposed to you're just, just go there. It. and Yeah, you're just thrown into it with yeah. no guiding and it's like, okay. Um, but uh, at the same time, I think, I feel like I've, I've gotten support from them and good. if I feel like something is wrong or I have any questions, I can just reach out to them. Super uh, good. Yeah. So I still feel like I have a good relationship with them. Starting out as a model, mm -hmm. your portfolio is like a huge tool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think aspiring models should do to kind of like build their portfolio to increase their chances of like uh, getting picked by an agency? I mean, it's like, obviously it's a lot of free work. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And that's, I, I do a lot of free work just because when you're a new model, you just want to build your portfolio to yeah. be interesting for customers. Mm -hmm having relationships with many different photographers mm -hmm. or other models as well. Like, you know, I started to getting to know you yeah, and now dude, we yeah. did like a shoot and it was really fun. And now we're here doing this podcast yeah. and it just opened up many more possibilities, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, so just, yeah, get out there, talk to photographers, Agreed. talk to models, you know, because the way the way I as a model want to build my portfolio, mm -hmm. you were the same. You wanted to build your portfolio. Mm -hmm. So it's like, yeah, it's, so it's a win-win. Like, yeah, yeah. But it's crazy because I feel like you and I are on opposite ends of the world in yeah. terms of like aesthetic. Yeah. But when Lisa introduced both of us, I got so excited at the thought yeah. of like, what could we make? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I loved our shoot, man. It's yeah, me too. One of my too. favorite I had videos so I've much ever fun. done. Yeah, it was so much fun. I, I think really... what was so good about it was just the energy. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. When everyone's in this yes and mentality, where exactly. like no wrong answers, yeah. whatever idea is said, just like, let's try it. Yeah, like, yeah, whatever. yeah, exactly. I know, because I wanted also today to kind of be us planning our next shoot. Yeah. I have a couple songs that I want to yeah. show you. I might as well do it now. Yeah, 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 do it. Because I'm, I'm so motiv motivated by music. Yeah, me too. Let's see. I ac or accidentally, I, I watched the video we did last time. Yeah. Uh, well, and I got that song in my head and dude. I had it for days. <laughs> like, na, 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 na. Exactly the same. Okay, so I'll play it right here. Yeah. Is it going to be here? Yeah. Uh, actually, let's do the speakers because we Ooh. can. Um, okay, I hope you like this. I have three singled out. Yeah. This is the first vibe. Armed. 
Oh Dude. my god, <laughs> yes, please. This oh my is god, such so dope. I love team. it. I love it. I feel like it's so you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I felt that immediately. I yeah. was like, yes. Thank I'm thinking you. I definitely want to do something outside. Yeah. Like maybe during the midnight sun. Oh. You know, like if we shoot 10 or 11 while yeah. it's like blue, everything. Yeah, yeah, that would be so cool. Right. So you get this vibe. Yeah. Then another one would be this one. Kind of follows the synth vibe. Oh. A bit more like Blade Runner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god, so good. Dude. Oh my god, I want to go raving now. Yeah. <laughs> it just really drives like yeah, forward. Yeah, yeah, so totally. So good. Okay, so that's another vibe. Yeah. And then this one's really similar to the other one uh, like from our first shoot. Uh, but also, I think it's your vibe yeah. a lot. Oh yeah! Dude, oh my I god! I don't know which one I want. I can't. I want them all. Yeah. <laughs> like, fuck. We'll do multiple shoots. But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna have to. Yeah. I'm so excited to do another yeah. video shoot. It, it was so much fun the last time. I think it's like it's one of my most liked videos. Like yeah. everyone I talk to loves that one. Yeah. It's one of my favorite yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah. Me too. All my friends and family were like, "Wow, Dude. this is so fucking cool." So and much Especially fun. the thing where I, you know, I kicked the paper yeah. and you managed to like edit it, and yeah, everyone was like, "Oh my god, did you kick the no. paper?" And I was like, "Ah." <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it took me like so many days to get yeah. the VFX done for something that's only like maybe three frames. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> it was so much fun. <laughs> so worth it. it what so um, cool. What kind of vibe are you feeling for this next project like in terms of like fashion wise? Do you want to do something similar to last time or do you want to switch it up a bit? Um, It's a different season, so it's yeah, like summer now. Yeah, I'm thinking like a bit different, but mm -hmm. still the same, like my aesthetic, mm -hmm. but like more of a summer vibe perhaps. What would that look like? I actually ordered some new clothes the last week, but mm -hmm. I haven't received them yet, but it okay. was like... It's super cool. It's like this mesh dress. Mm -hmm. It's short with a matching neon green bikini. Okay. And then there's like matching mesh gloves and socks. And okay. it, was, it was super cool, actually. And then some like like visor glasses. Like, I'm so down. Yeah, yeah. That neon would be really good if we shoot in the midnight sun. Yeah, exactly. That's going to be yeah. so good. Okay, yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Love that. Yeah. I'm thinking it would be really cool to be like somewhat in the city but more so like the city in the background yeah um i wonder what would be a good location for that yeah because those songs that we played really drive so i'm imagining a lot of walking shots yeah like, yeah exactly. i want it to feel energetic like I want power exactly, yeah yeah dude. exactly like maybe like big thick heels or yeah, something yeah yeah know. totally Make you look Just super like, tall yeah and also like i was thinking about the makeup because mm -hmm. with the green bikini i also have like i have a lot of uh, neon shadows like okay. they glow in the dark literally uh what colors i have like orange green pink red yellow i have okay. like a lot and i would like to do like this explosive makeup look let's do a uh, complimentary color to the yeah. neon so whatever neon you said it was like a neon green neon yeah yellow. exactly exactly so maybe red right yeah yeah i think that would be a cool okay. cool match yeah, yeah. you have to send me a photo of just like what the color is yeah 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 i will uh, do that that could be so cool man. yeah yeah i think so too and now when yeah. I heard the music, I just got Dude, so excited. I'll send oh it to God. you and yeah, you can just yeah, listen you to them. To you tell me. me which one you vibe yeah, with yeah, the most. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm thinking the same thing, like 60 seconds, like yeah. last time. Try yeah. to keep it short. Exactly. Um, I wonder what would be a nice place to do. Should we do like Sederman? Yeah. Should we be around like neon signs? Oh, that would be We can be do cool. kind of like an urban thing. Where do we have neon signs? Um, I mean, definitely in the center of the city. But yeah. I'm, I'm really bad at Stockholm's like locations yeah. you know i'm always I need to get like, better at that yeah yeah i think I, I take a lot of it for granted yeah. too like i see it almost every day that yeah i, I just don't take yeah. it into account no 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 same um but we can think about that later mm. in terms of location at least I, i'm down that or i'm happy that you're down with the music like i'm so down cool well. vibe yeah i heard those and i'm like yeah, yeah this is <laughs> yeah me too sure. as soon as i heard them i was like yeah yes um but i like what you said how like models they also do have to network. Like a lot of people think it might be like the photographers or like uh, producers that have to mm, network. Models yeah. have to network too. Yeah. And there's so many creatives in Stockholm that they can collaborate with and yeah. mutually build portfolios. Yeah. 
And you also you gotta put in the work yourself as well because it's not man. just like I I got signed by Mikas and mm. it now now it's like oh yeah I got a lot of work you know it's you still have to put in yeah the hours, I have to yeah. put in the work you know I you know when I take pictures with you I send mm. them to Emma I, they put it on the website you yeah. know um, so I still have to like take initiative yeah exactly I think it's good yeah. I, it makes you not take things for granted. Yeah, which is yeah, also yeah, really yeah exactly. Keeps you humble. What about Stockholm as a city? Like, what makes it unique for, or t- to try to be a model, or yeah. even just the creative industry here? Well, I mean, Stockholm is like the home for many companies, and yeah. like it's just the. I feel like it's just a city to be in in Sweden if you're gonna do modeling, or because yeah. there's so many more opportunities here, and it's so. It's nice to just be here all the time, so you you don't have to go much yeah. places. And yeah. I think also one thing that makes Sweden really special is that we have so much diversity compared yeah. to other countries in Europe. Yeah. That, like, our model pool is it's so different from any other country. Yeah, yeah. I think that in, I I hope it brings some more hope to any aspiring model that there is a market for everyone. Yeah, here. yeah. It definitely is growing. You know. Yeah. It's evolving. It, yeah. Well, that's one thing I wanted to ask you too. Like beauty standards have changed same as like fashion trends yeah what do you think it is right now in terms of like modeling good question i have a semblance of an idea but i want to hear your opinion first yeah um i mean like you said there are many different aesthetics Mm -hmm. and uh, i feel like the main there's still this like the main standard which is like the runway models who are supposed Uh to be just like yeah, but you know the one you see on this big fashion shows yeah. they're always like, like the same perfection. yeah, yeah okay. it's just perfection they are yeah. just tall and amazing and yeah g- goddesses <laughs> you know <laughs> it's like you. yeah okay but there's also like there i i remember like i had friends who told me a couple of years ago that because i've always wanted to do many tattoos and yeah. everything you know and in some like areas in Mm -hmm. the modeling industry that's not like what they're searching for but i also have a lot of friends who have like they have tattoos every they have face tattoos and they get scouted only because of the tattoos that's the thing and that's so cool like because it's it's such a different thing because you i've always been told like oh if you're gonna do modeling you can't have that many tattoos and traditionally sure yeah exactly but also it's like there's a lot of different modeling to do it's not always just runway and catwalk and exactly. you know there's, there's there's a lot of other things that um, makes me so happy that you say that because yeah. i see that as such a blessing in the industry too yeah. like before maybe so many models were trying to look a certain way because that's like the standard yeah 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 but now it seems like the standard is just be different exactly exactly it seems like all these alternative looks are yeah, being yeah, celebrated yeah. yeah which makes me so happy yeah because i love that models don't have to like try to be someone else mm. Do you think models should diversify and be versatile or should you just like pick a niche and be super, super dominant in that niche? Um, Cause I think you are a great example of just dominating a niche. Like your yeah, look is yeah. so unique. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah. But I mean, <laughs> I, I really think there is a market for everyone. Yeah. No matter what yeah. you look like, there's going to be some brand or some project yeah. in the future that is looking for yeah. just you. Yeah. Yeah, I I feel like for me, I'm very, like, um, I want to do, like, I only want to do the me stuff, you know? I want to do things that are, like, that I feel are cool and special. Uh, But, I mean, there's absolutely great if you can do, like, a lot of different stuff as well. Yeah. Um, But for me, I... Especially since I'm like, I'm not a, modeling isn't like a dream job of mine. It's just okay. like, it's it's fun and it's an experience and it's a challenge. You know, mm-hmm. I really did it as a challenge. Uh, You're growing. Yeah, yeah. And now I'm starting to feel like it's really fun. And, you know, I like being on set and just meeting other models. And it's, yeah, I like it. I like, yeah. you know, being on the job. Because uh, I know that, like from what you told me, again it sounds so cliche but like (laughs) the modeling industry found you it's not like you were looking for it yeah (laughs) yeah but have you grown to kind of see it more as a business now yeah yeah Mm -hmm. i mean in a way um it is a business but Mm -hmm. it's still like for for me at the moment it's more like uh 
something fun like yeah. just uh yeah like i said an experience yeah uh but maybe in the future i will think of it more as a business i hope so <laughs> I, i really think you have the potential yeah. to go really yeah. far and like full time yeah yeah um what do you have like next in, in your projects like do you have any cool thing coming up are you uh, uh not yet i think the summer is going to be pretty chill mm. um but i did the I did the Beckman show. Tell and, me about that from like beginning to end. Yeah, like, what was, was so that cool. experience like? Uh, it was amazing. So we did it at the Kulturhuset. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was really, I thought it was really nice because, you know, because of Corona, it's not like a fashion show with a lot of people watching, right. but they're just cameras. So, I mean, there's room for mistakes. You know, I was like, I'm going to fall. I'm yeah. going to like, <laughs> I'm going to do something like I'm going to lose this hat no, or whatever, yeah. you know, but it, there's always room for mistakes because they can always do a retake. And that was, that was a bit comfort, com- comforting yeah, because I'm like, yeah, you know, I was nervous. It was my, I never did a catwalk before yeah. and I was like, ah. What are the skills, like, how are they different? I'm assuming, like, because I think with camera, it must be a lot easier for a model. Yeah. Because, like you said, room for mistakes. Yeah. But catwalk seems like a completely different beast. Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's like, you just have to be like, they they told me, like, just walk normal, look like. I was going to ask, like, <laughs> what's the trick? Because the catwalks that I've seen, yeah. you can tell when someone's thinking too much about how they walk. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. it's just, yeah, like exactly, you just feel exactly. nervous. Yeah, yeah, and that was what I was feeling. I was yeah. like, oh my God, I gotta stop thinking about yeah. how, how I'm walking. Like, and sometimes I would like trip or something. And I was like, ah, I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but okay, I mean, dude. overall it, it went pretty good. I mean, yeah. it, I I was happy with my, my work and uh, Yeah. What kind of inspires you for like a creative project? Are you driven by the fashion of a project, the the music involved with the project? Everything. Yeah. Everything. Okay. But I mean, I I love music mm-hmm. and I love like you know, especially being on set and doing that catwalk and there's playing like low key techno in the background mm-hmm. and I'm like, yes, that's totally yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So th- then it's more like it gets more natural for me. Uh, and also the the fashion i mean mm-hmm. i love fashion i've always loved fashion uh how would you describe your style because mm, i can't really put it into words no i i can't really put it into yeah. words either it's other than like uh, berlin techno or, yeah I, I i feel like my these last few years like the last two years or something i've really started to you know discover how mm. i want to dress and how hey, i want to cool. look like mm-hmm. and before that it was just like i wasn't sure you know i was just trying out all of these different styles and aesthetics and i never really felt like okay this is me mm. until now i'm like now i'm like really satisfied with my look and just like i'm i'm comfortable with myself you Dude, know and what that's a beautiful feeling yeah that's a wow. great feeling especially since i haven't felt that before uh wow yeah oh, man. <laughs> but i feel like that brings you so much more confidence when you're doing these gigs yeah that they're looking for just you like all you have to worry about is having fun after that yeah yeah exactly oh, that's so wonderful yeah when you're in between jobs like whether it be the summer or uh like i said in between jobs what are you doing to like sharpen your tools because y- your image is your product or mm. your, like your business mm. Mm. what do you do like in between to keep it sharp it's kind of embarrassing but i've actually been i've been tr- like practicing poses in front of a mirror for like Not weeks embarrassed. now Dude, that I'm makes like, me so happy to hear yeah you I'm should like, be that's <laughs> awesome no, it's so but then true. it's always like because you know in the mirror i can see myself and then someone pops up with a camera and i'm like i don't know how i look i know i know Dude, i wish every time like we shot i would have like a yeah, mirror yeah. behind can me can you please just put a mirror <laughs> yeah. and i can see myself so i know that mm-hmm. this looks good yeah <laughs> like yeah don't be embarrassed it, about that yeah no so it's just like i've been and also like because it's it's not only like doing professional mm. professional photography that i get nervous it's all it's also when my friends are gonna take pictures of me so i'm like oh, okay. i've been trying to like get my friends to take pictures of me just like random so i can you know just Dude, practice on getting comfortable good. Uh, I'm so happy that you're putting in an effort. Yeah, That's more than it's, a lot of it's actually really hard for me, you know, being mm. comfortable with pictures and everything. Yeah, it's it's a struggle. <laughs> and <laughs> as a model, you know, you gotta be. That's, the, that's yeah. the thing you're supposed to do. So I'm really trying to get past the whole um, yeah awkwardness. That's so good. I mean, it really, after every project, it gets a bit easier and easier. Yeah. I'm so happy to hear that you're putting in an effort. Because oh. I know so many people who just 
wait for the phone to ring and just get a job. Yeah. And they think they don't have to do anything. Yeah. But it is work, man. Yeah, like, it is work. Stay yeah. on top of your game. You gotta put in effort. And yeah. The, yeah. But you're like multi-talented. You also do graphic design too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> how, was, <laughs> how did that start? What was uh, your passion behind that? Um, that's something that I've been doing since I was like 12. Yeah. Uh, I've always been like a total computer nerd and just like, you know, I love cameras and, you know, yeah, technical yeah, yeah. stuff. I mm-hmm. get like a, a, like a little child. Yeah, yeah geek um, out. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I used to spend like, I didn't hang out much with friends like on the weekends when I was younger. I just mm-hmm. like sat in front of a computer coding websites and I got into like HTML coding yeah. and um, I just learned by myself and then it just evolved and uh, yeah. That's super impressive. Wow. Yeah, yeah. It's always been a really, really big interest of mine. Mm-hmm. Actually, that's something I would like to have as a full time yeah. job. Like I think you can too. Yeah. Yeah. I would really I've actually applied to school this fall. Um Congrats, okay. Yeah. Where do you want to go? I wanna go I've applied to like um how do you say it in English? Like computer you know like What's in Swedish? Data spelsutveckling. Bro. <laughs> like <laughs> computer games, um, making computer games. Whoa. And also like game graphic and stuff like that. I've always wanted to learn that and Dude, it would be so, so cool. cool. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. When do you find out? In July or something. Okay. I don't know. I we'll see. I haven't like I don't have like great uh, what is it called? A portfolio or, or no as like High hopes or what? Yeah, school when you like ah, grades, like, grades, grades. It's called okay, grades. grades, grades yeah. <laughs> I totally lost it. I was no like, worries. what is it called? But I feel like something like that, it's more about like what portfolio you have or what visions you have, right? I hope so. I really hope so. Cause yeah. I mean, there are, I feel like, especially when it's uh, something, uh, when it's a school that's focused in like creating mm-hmm. and they are not like as focused on the grades as some other schools are but right. they might still you know i'm yeah we'll see i'm not sure actually how they how Dude, they fingers crossed that yeah. sounds so cool yeah yeah i really i really hope that i get in it yeah. would be super cool what about mikas as an agency how does it separate itself from other agencies here in stockholm Do you have any opinion on that mm. well like i said mikas is like probably the biggest or one of the biggest one with, of the most respected for sure yeah, yeah yeah and definitely the one with like the m- most models like mm-hmm. they have a lot mm-hmm. a lot of models okay um but then we also have like uh, we have my boyfriend used to be with niche management which is mm-hmm. a smaller um agency and in his opi- opinion that was that was really good because when they have fewer models they have more time to like guide them and offer them jobs yeah. and yeah you know do you ever feel like you're competing with another model at the same agency for the same job mm, not really i okay. or i haven't yet at least no i hope uh, you never have to yeah. feel that way yeah i think about that too like when there's so many models yeah like let's say blonde blue eyes yeah yeah i, yeah. I wouldn't want to feel like there's eight other people yeah i know like i know the same team yeah, yeah exactly no i f- i feel like for me it's very important to not be like to take things personally in this industry and that's also something that i've been practicing my whole life you know i've Mm -hmm. i've always been like i don't ever let anyone tell me what to do or like how to act or like i'm just like i'm gonna do me you know i'm very very strong in that yeah um so i feel like if it's because, I mean, of course, it's a bit disappointing when you get offered a job and then they're like, sorry, they decided to go with some other models. And then you're like, OK, yeah. but it's important to not be like, OK, I'm not I'm not pretty enough. I'm not good enough. You know, like yeah. you can't beat yourself up like that because it's just like the clients in this industry are often very, very specific with what they want yeah. like, with models and just the whole thing. So just because you don't have like that maybe that one thing that they are looking for mm-hmm. that doesn't mean that like you're horrible and a yeah. w- useless model you know i remember in la when we would hold castings it yeah. would come down to two actors who might be exactly equal talent like both amazing yeah 
but we had to pick one over the other based on hair color. Yeah. Like just a different shade of brown. Yeah. Um, it can come down to that. Yeah, exactly. It's very small details. Yeah. Uh, How do you deal with that kind of, uh, not rejection, but one could say like a failure in a yeah, positive yeah, way? Yeah, but it is kind of a like, because you feel kind of rejected at it, first. Yeah. It's That's the first feeling. Yeah. Uh, but like like I said, I try not to get caught up in it. It's And I just try to think like, okay, there's going to be another job. It's I didn't get this one, but okay, yeah. it's going to be... And that sucks really if it's like a job that you really, really wanted. Like, oh, wow, this would be so cool, you know? Yeah. And then it's like, okay, I didn't get it. That's That sucks. Okay. But uh, I mean, what, what can you do? Yeah. Um, I mean, in a weird way, I feel like after so many rejections, yeah. the day that you do get that job yeah. or a gig similar, yeah, you yeah. appreciate it so much more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's totally. huge. Exactly. I feel like also a lot of people need to remember that 99% of the time you're going to get a no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. just have to get... Like just power through those no's exactly. until you get that one yes and yeah. then it makes it all worth it. Yeah. So many people quit after like the 40th no or yeah, 30th yeah, or exactly. even the first no. They're yeah. like, nah, not meant for me. Like, yeah. Please just keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. I agree yeah. with that. It's like, yeah. Especially with this industry, I mean, especially specifically yours where it's so based on image and that's such an easy thing to take personally. Yeah, yeah, totally. I mean, it's, it's about your looks and like... Yeah. I mean, I remember, I mean, here in Sweden, it's like, it's pretty, I think that the industry here now is pretty like, okay, and non-toxic. Yeah. But like what I heard from my boyfriend who did a lot of modeling in Tokyo uh, mm-hmm. for an agency there, he, he like, he had to quit because it was really like tough yeah, on him. Because wow. they're like, I mean, the ideal there is like so much more yeah yeah it's like you had to be super skinny and yeah. like you know and my my boyfriend is super skinny yeah and he's like now he thinks that he's fat and i'm like oh, oh my god I, you're so skinny dude, that's what he, i hate he, about he'd been told like that there in tokyo like he was too fat or something and it, yeah and I, I just i hate that and that's <laughs> like i feel like that's um for yeah like younger younger because he was scouted when he was pretty young he did mm-hmm. his first show in paris when he was 17 or something oh wow okay. um but uh, a lot of like young models who like <laughs> i mean like there are there are good agencies and there are bad agencies mm-hmm. and if you if you ha- are unlucky to be with a bad agency it's mm-hmm. like you can you can be like i mean you can get eating disorders and yeah. you'll be traumatized for life Mm -hmm. so it's for me i feel like it's very important with integrity and just like being i feel like i'm happy that i haven't gotten into this until now when i'm 23 because i I, I feel like i have the maturity yeah i mean me a couple of years ago i was so insecure even Mm -hmm. like three years ago which isn't that long i was so insecure and like Mm -hmm. didn't at all know who i was and i took everything personally and you know it's like yeah very very insecure and if if you are like that and then get into modeling it can just go i mean it can go like this or it can go like that. yeah i know yeah yeah i wonder what we can do to like make it better for future generations because i feel like as a photographer a big part of the problem is us as well, like mm. with Photoshop. Mm. Um, yeah, yeah. I wonder if that goes even higher, like to the clients, like what they demand. Mm. Um, I think a big thing would be like education, mm. like just teaching young kids that Photoshop exists. Yeah. And even these models that they adore. Yeah. Don't look like that. Yeah, yeah. And that's totally. okay. Yeah. Because I'm, I don't know, this might be a bit controversial, but I don't mind a little bit of adjustments because. No. That's kind of what advertising is. Like yeah. you want to show out of the ordinary. Yeah. That's what people want to see. Like that's what's exciting. Yeah. Like you yeah. don't go watch an action film. Yeah. Because it's an ordinary day in someone's yeah. life. Like you yeah. want that thrill. You want something different. Exactly. Yeah. I, I totally agree with that. I'm also not like, I feel like some adjustments are totally fine mm-hmm. and like some retouch, but when to it comes balance. to the point when you like, when you start changing the entire appearance yeah at, at, to the point that it almost looks fake you know it's no yeah and then people grow up thinking that that's normal yeah yeah exactly that's all they see. yeah so these small girls like they want to be models and they see those models and then they grew up 
and they're like oh my god i don't look like them at all yeah. and no it's it's very very toxic i don't like that yeah but i'm happy to hear that you say that stockholm isn't too much like that yeah i mean i at least in my i i don't have like a lot of experience with the mm -hmm. model industry here but i feel like compared to what i've heard about other places and stockholm or sweden yeah. in general it's it has grown into being more like inclusive perhaps. yeah that inclusive so and proud. just like yeah it makes me so happy yeah yeah i think that really I mean, it is the future i think yeah yeah like I said, there's we a need market that. for everyone yeah absolutely yeah 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 um there's yeah. totally a market for everyone and that's there also is, like i watched this um it's a documentary on mm -hmm. SVT Play. Um, it's called Catwalk. Uh -huh. And it's about, um, if you know, you don't know uh, Glada Hudik's theater. No, no, it's like, is this, there's this guy who started this theater for like kids and grown ups with uh, handicaps. And, and like, I think I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. And then there is this one girl, I think she has Down syndrome. And she wants to be a model so Wait, bad. I know this. Yeah. I met with the production house that yeah, made it. Really? Yeah, really? Oh my God, that is <laughs> so think, cool. Yeah. I think it's the same one. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, but so he manages to get her to like New York Fashion Week and she gets to do this catwalk. And yeah. it's just like, oh my God, I'm getting chills, you know, because that's also a thing that like have been coming more and more these past few years, mm -hmm. like people with different kinds of disabilities or handicaps that are actually able to do the things they want mm. and i love that i'm all about yeah. i mean that's also a thing in my my job as caretaking we have like our motto is like if if there isn't a way we create it you know so everyone should do like love it everyone should have the opportunity to do whatever mm -hmm. um so i also i really really love that uh, that story about that girl with Downs who Absolutely. got into modeling because that was her dream, you know? And yeah. I was like, oh, it just warms my heart. <laughs> yeah, but also like, I think a lot of people or a lot of aspiring models think that they have to be that runway yeah. look. But yeah. with like the commercial section of model agencies. Exactly. Man, it does not matter. Like, no, no. There, you can look like whatever you look yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you just have a good personality in front of camera, that's all that matters. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. There, there's so many different types of modeling. Like you can do hand modeling. Yeah, you can do yeah. like whatever. <laughs> it's cares? Yeah, it's, it's everything. So yeah. it's not all about being like tall and skinny and perfect and have long blonde hair, you know. Like, there's certainly a market for that too. But yeah, totally. The and point is like, it's so much bigger than that. Yeah. Um, I really wish people would not give up so soon. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, think me too. A lot of people are right there at the, like the break that they yeah, might have, yeah. but they think it's not for them. It's yeah, just, please keep going. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's, it takes a lot of, um, like, yeah, like we said before, you have to put in effort. Like, and you can't yeah. just expect everything to come so easily. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. Do you like watch or, or read magazines, fashion magazines, to get inspired in terms of modeling, like poses? Not like fashion magazines, but I mean, I I I follow a lot of models on Instagram, okay. for example. You know, trying to get inspired by yeah. their like Dude. poses and just like how they work. And yeah, yeah, that's that's how I'm learning at Let's the moment. Let's talk about that, like yeah. Instagram. Yeah, is it helping us or is it hurting us? Oh, wow. <laughs> big vague question. Yeah, that's a very big question. <laughs> I, I mean, it's. <sighs> No wrong answers. No, I feel like in one way, it's it's all about how you consume it. In one way, that's how I feel. Like it doesn't have to be toxic if Run you with do, it. Keep don't going. make it toxic, you know? Amen. It, it's <laughs> like it's like, you know. It's all about mentality. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a lot about mentality. And of course, there are like, there are things on social media and Instagram that can be hurtful. But I feel like now with, I mean, with, if you're a grown, if you're a grown up using like Instagram, you gotta sort of also take responsibility to, you know, if something isn't making you feel good on mm. Instagram, like remove that. Yeah. Like don't don't go there. Agreed. You know, yeah. like just 
don't expose yourself mm-hmm. to toxic things and things that doesn't make you feel good. Yeah. Um, but then also I'm like, I'm a bit split in this question because yeah. it's like, of course it can be toxic and for young kids being on Instagram and they, they're they not... That's true. They aren't as, you know, they don't have all of this knowledge. They don't, mm. they don't know all of the things that we do and they can't like control it in the same way. Yeah. Um, and what do you think? Well, I mean, I think, um, again, all about mentality. Yeah. I do acknowledge that there is some truth to that where if kids are on Instagram all the time and they think the filters is normal, it's kind of like our generation's yeah. Photoshop. Yeah, the, yeah, the 80s, exactly. You know? Yeah. Um, but when I use Instagram, like I just get inspired. Yeah. Like when same. I see a photographer that's doing work that I wish I could be doing, yeah. it's not like a, oh man, I don't deserve to be here. Uh, it's more so like... I'm not as good as him, you right, know. Right, but that's yeah. so easy to think that yeah, way. Yeah, it but, is, totally. I get that. I get that people exactly. think like that. But I feel like I'm lucky that I see that and it makes me inspired. Yeah. And it makes me like motivated. I, I like, so I think like, wow, those colors are amazing. I might yeah. even write to them and be like, yo, I love your work. Yeah, like, yeah, keep yeah, it going, yeah, yeah, please. Yeah, yeah, same, same. It's I'm the same mentality. with models. I like, I see yeah, something dude. and I'm like, wow, damn, I want to do that. Yeah. That's so cool. It's not worth just like being sad over it. No, no, it's all. not. It's not at all worth it. It's like. Also Instagram, I've. I love just for the connectivity yeah. with the creative community. Yeah, yeah, like same. A photographer can reach out to models. Models can reach out to photographers, yeah. stylists, makeup artists. Yeah. Even clients, man. Yeah. How do you use it as like a branding tool for you as a model? Mm. Well, I mean, like, I try to put myself out there to mm-hmm. make contacts uh, like I did with you and mm-hmm. also like other photographers I've had had several photographers founding my Instagram and they've been like, wow, I really like your style and would you like to shoot sometime? Mm -hmm. Um, So for me, Instagram is a great tool Mm -hmm. uh, because that's where I've gotten to know like basically everyone that I did a shoot with Mm -hmm. that hasn't been with work, you know. Um, What about kind of like discovering your style? Like, because I feel like it's a really easy way to curate your like outward appearance, right? Mm -hmm. Do you put a lot of inf- effort into your Instagram? Do you post just a post or do you like... Uh, I don't like posting something that I'm not like... 100% on? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I really I really want to post like... But I've been trying to be more like chill. And just too. to post like... Because I, I get kind of like a perfectionist sometime and I'm trying not to be. Dude, uh, I remember in, in college, like I would curate yeah. my Instagram so much where... I would want everything to be aligned. So yeah. if a photo was going to be on the right side, yeah. it had to be looking right to left. Yeah. The other one was symmetric. Oh my God. I put in like <laughs> so much effort, uh, make sure the colors are consistent. Yeah. But then I had a moment where I thought like, I kind of miss when social media was just to share yeah. with yeah. friends. Yeah, exactly. And I'm trying to get better at that. Like yeah. now I'm showing a bit more of like casual scenarios rather than yeah. like fashion shoots or something. Yeah. But yeah, I really want to get rid of the perfectionist. Uh, yeah, yeah, for yeah. Social me media. Too. Yeah. I think if you for your portfolio, be as perfectionist as you want. Yeah. But dude, it's like Instagram. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> but also, I feel like as a photographer, if I'm casting for a project, yeah, and we find the model's Instagram, if I see personality, that mm-hmm. makes me think like this person's gonna be a lot of fun on set. Yeah. That's more valuable to me yeah, than yeah, seeing what totally. I already see on their portfolio. Yeah, exactly. So is there anyone in the industry or out of the industry that's like rising up that you think deserves some positive attention? Um, yeah, I have my my friend, mm-hmm. Erika. She's uh, been doing a lot of tattoos on me lately. Uh-huh. And uh, I really love her style because I think that the drawing she makes is so unique and they're so, they're so cool. And I love like going to someone smaller a smaller artist you know to get something super cool in their style yeah than just going to like a big tattooer who does like the did same she, the same things did she do that full-time or is it like a no hobby it's for like her? a hobby for her oh, she cool. doesn't even i mean she does it at home yeah like uh yeah like a fun thing but she's really good and i'm like i was impressed with how fast she is with the tattoo she's uh-huh. like super fast and steady and then she's like she always ends up like i'm sorry is this cool is this no good way, she's really? like yeah she's a bit <laughs> self-conscious when it comes to tattoo she was like is your boyfriend gonna hate me now because no, i ruined your body and no. i was like no i'm so happy i love them yeah, like dude, they're okay. my favorite tattoos now <laughs> 
So I really want to like give her a shout out because I think she's so good and like I she she's like she doesn't even want to get paid for the tattoos and I'm like you, you can wow. easily make money out of this you can start a business you know that's awesome so I, I think she should yeah hey fantastic I, I love like, that yeah super nice yeah well, all right well thank you so much for today I learned a lot thank you Appreciate it was super it. fun. <laughs>